Okay, we're gonna do some fun questions here. Okay. But you don't know what these questions are. <laughs> yeah. Which is so fun. Okay. Because I didn't give you the fun questions. No. So. <laughs> That's the lightning round, right? That's the lightning okay. round. When you're low on groceries, what's your go-to meal? Cheese. Bread. <laughs> Anything with cheese. Cheese. I love it. Toasted hot chocolate. Spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> okay, what's your top tip for living with teenagers? Just take a breath before you answer. <laughs> and do you have a look or let you know the mom look that lets your kids know you mean business? Oh, it's saying all their names, oh. first and middle names. If I tried to use a look like that, I would burst out laughing. So <laughs> What's your best tip for surviving those long car rides? Oh, man. Pack the snacks. Yep. And drive during the night hours and just take advantage of the nighttime right while they are sleeping how many lunches do you think you've packed in your lifetime I kept packing lunches for my kids all through high school just because I wanted to and uh, maybe 4,000 Wow that's amazing yeah is there something that you can look back on that you think at the time that felt so so hard but now you look back and you're like oh that was worth it when my oldest was a baby we were at Costco she was in the in the cart and she had this huge tantrum. And we saw, we, we saw a couple we knew from church who have three older, you know, grown-up kids. And we were just panicking, like so embarrassed and rushed up the store. And just this past week, my youngest, so my third, threw a huge tantrum not wanting to leave the playground. And I'm pretty sure the whole street, everyone who was working from home was probably looking out the window wondering what is going on. It's, it kind of seems like a small thing, but when our youngest two were preschoolers, that was a really challenging time for us because our fifth kid has um, special needs. And so then we have five and six at home and it just like, that was a whole new parenting experience for me then too. All of my previous tools <laughs> that I had from the other four kids didn't work the same way necessarily. And um, one day I walked down the stairs and there was like this whole trail of milk spilled all over the main floor with a big pool right in front of the fridge and I'm like cried and felt like so defeated like am I gonna make it through these moments you know she's gonna be three and it's that tug of war age where experience has now taught me like I have to train this child up, so I can't give in. I'm, I'm, I'm no longer embarrassed <laughs> because they're children. And so it's rewarding. It's, it's not fun in the moment, but the rewarding part is when she woke up from her nap, she said, Mommy, I'm not going to fight with you. And I said, praise God. <laughs> Even if it only lasts for an hour, <laughs> praise God. <laughs> but now, like, it's just another check on the the journey of life is like those things happen and and I did make it we're here and those are the things where you now look back and are like okay yeah it was spilled milk it's okay what do you think is a time that you learned something from your kids when Brandon was about three I went to walk into the kitchen and there he was pouring himself a cup of pop from a two liter pop bottle but I just stopped I didn't go in the kitchen I stayed outside because I just felt just really curious what will happen so I watched him he picked it up went to pour it and the cup tipped over and pop went on the floor and all by himself in the kitchen he said that's all white mommy will help me clean it up it just, it really impacted me. I never forgot that moment. I, and I thought, I was gonna make a cry, it's a silly story. But it was me realizing, wow, that, that, that's what, like, what I would want them to respond with when they mess up. That they would know that they could come to me and that I would be the one coming to help them. It gave me something to keep reaching for, to keep being a mom that will, that they could come to when they did something wrong or messed up. How do you think being a mom has changed you? Seeing them just, it changes my perspective on myself and just how I present myself to them and to the world because they're looking and they learn more from what they see than maybe even what, what I say. So 
I'd say that my perspective has grown exponentially. It was a journey to learn grace, and I'm sure I wasn't perfect at that all along, but I, I felt like I was learning grace as I was going, and it was this, this transformation of starting with like looking for perfection to giving them grace and teaching them grace and modeling grace. Seeing them transform from this like little helpless baby to this, these mature, amazing people that make their own decisions and love God and use their lives to serve Him. It's just like, bursts my heart to see them like living life in amazing ways and doing all these cool things that I would have never dreamed for them, but they can do it all by themselves. <laughs> so cool. Well, actually, we showed up. You don't know this, but we have some people here who wanted to come and say thank you to you. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> so nice, thank you. Love you, Bob. Thank you for all that you have done for us. <laughs> oh, we you. love you, Mommy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. This is a nice one. Are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Get in there, Come here. This is a quiet, quiet man. <laughs> <laughs>